projectile motion range maximum height and time of flight let us say projectile is thrown with velocity u velocity vector makes an angle theta with horizontal that is x axis and y axis is vertically up gravity is in the downward direction we can write component of velocity so x component is u cos theta and y component is u sin theta there is no acceleration in x direction so ax is 0 and we have acceleration in negative y direction so this is minus z now this projectile will follow a parabolic path let us say maximum height is h and the distance traveled on horizontal axis is range time required to cover this distance is t and this is called time of flight so t is time of flight and this is total time for which projectile remains in air Now our target is to find expression for range, maximum height and time of flight. We will use kinematical equation S is equals to ut plus half a t square. Let us apply in x direction first. So in x direction distance travel is r. So S is r initial velocity in x direction is u cos theta and time of flight is t and there is no acceleration in x direction so we have r is equals to u cos theta into t similarly we can write equation in y direction Finally, the y coordinate of projectile is 0, that is total displacement along the y direction is 0. So we can write s is equals to ut plus half a t square and distance is 0. Initial velocity in y direction is u sin theta and t is the time. z is negative. So acceleration is negative. So this is negative sign. So from here we can calculate time of flight.
so t is equals to 2 u sin theta by z so this is time of flight now if I put this time of flight in equation 1 we can get expression for range So this is u a square 2 sin theta cos theta by z and this is sin 2 theta. So we have expression for range this is u a square sin 2 theta by z. We can also find maximum height h. You see the projectile as it goes up its vertical velocity decreases and the topmost point vertical velocity is zero. Horizontal velocity remains same. That is at maximum height. V y is 0. So we can apply V s square minus U s square is equals to 2 a s formula to calculate vertical height h. Final velocity is 0. Initial velocity is V u sin theta. That is here. and acceleration is minus z and distance is h. So h is equals to u square sin square theta by 2z. So one can remember these results. Maximum height is h square u square h is equals to u square sin square theta by 2z and range is equals to u square sin 2 theta by z. And time of flight is 2 u sin theta by z. Now let us see this range. If u is fixed range will be maximum when sin 2 theta is equals to 1. That is 2 theta is equals to 90 degree. This means theta is equals to 45 degree. And the value of maximum range will be u square by z. Similarly, we can find condition so that h will be maximum. And this will be maximum when sin theta is equals to 1 that is theta is equals to 90 degree. That is projectile is thrown vertically up in this case height will be maximum and the value of maximum height will be u square by 2z
maximum range is u square by z and maximum height is u square by 2z so one can remember these results